All right, so I'm gonna make this easy for you. If you have a home and uh, you have only one air conditioning unit, like a 12,000 BTU, you will have uh, a regular fridge, microwave, a washing machine, a few TVs, all those regular stuff. You can go by with a six kilowatt hybrid inverter. See? So your bill will come to like $12,000, $15,000. So a 6,000 watt hybrid inverter, at least eight solar panels, um, 450, 550 watts up. So yeah, at least eight of them. And uh, you will need at least two five kilowatt hour batteries or a 10 kilowatt hour battery. So 10 kilowatt hour in storage, see? Very good to go. This is higher than that. We are going for the 25,000, 35,000. You're going to use an 8 kilowatt inverter. So, say you have the same appliances, but added to that, you have multiple AC units. So, you might have a 24,000 BTU, two 18,000 BTU, um, 18,000 BTU AC units. But it's the same thing you have your refrigerator, you have your washing machine, and all the regular stuff. 8 kilowatt inverter. 10 kilowatt hour battery or 20 kilowatt in storage and at least 14 550 watt solar panels see we have gone over now we have electric stove or a dryer you need a 12 kilowatt inverter 12 kilowatt hybrid inverter is good if you ever have the stove on and the dryer on at least that inverter is there big enough to manage that load once you're gonna be using dryers or a dryer, an electric stove, multiple AC units, 12 kilowatt inverter, at least two batteries, and 14, 16 and solar panels are good. All right, all right. Now when you, when you come to the AC units, we we'll find that the ones out there where you see the inverter, 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 yeah, they, they pull a lot of. Oh, and what I've seen is that they don't really work out of them never work. So you find that when you have them on your system, they will drain your batteries fast. So I always tell people get proper AC units where you know our dual inverters, proper inverter AC, they may cost a lot more at the in, in the initial stage when you're purchasing, but when you're operating, they're more efficient. These guys have been in the game a long time. The Samsung, the LG, the Panasonic, them know what they're going to do. See? So they make more, much more efficient devices. Another thing when it comes to AC and you have your solar setup, get one with the Wi Fi. So the ones that are out there labeled inverter, 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 you can ask them to add in the Wi Fi dongle. I don't know why they're not selling or upselling the Wi Fi dongle. Or pay an extra 5 5 for the Wi Fi dongle at that team. Get the app for the others like the LG and the Samsung that already have Wi Fi. Use up that feature. So, when your system is you know up and running, when you have your batteries fully charged, what you can do in the daytime now with that, that excess power there, your battery is already charged, the power has nowhere else to go. At that point in time, you can remotely go into that. Well, you can go into the app and remotely turn on the AC run it off that free power right keep the place cool for persons who are away you know that will help you to protect your furniture protect your clothing inside the house once the system is connected to wi-fi you can remotely turn on and cool the space with free power while you're on the way to the home or you know while you're out working cool on the place so that at least when you get home it's not so hot so that's one of the things, that's one of the, 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 the major positive for you when you have your solar set up and you have your unit connected to Wi-Fi. You have that ability to do that and you know, use up that free energy to cool the space. Um, again, I don't know why they're not upsetting that. But yeah, um, if you're going to put in solar and you don't have AC units as yet, you know, spread, spend it. Spend the extra money and get proper units in place, proper inverter units. Trust me, you are going to appreciate it down the line. 